Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toyota located at 31 Audubon Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2018 Toyota Highlander Limited. Now the most suitable features on this Limited is its panoramic roof, you have your heated and cooled front seats, as well as your power lift gate. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle, just to get you better familiar with this 2018 Toyota Highlander Limited. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Limited is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lights. And then if you take a closer look at the front grille, you're going to see your front facing camera along with your parking sensors. And over on the side, you have the 20 or sorry, your 19 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you do have the body side moldings, integrated signal lamps, down facing camera, foldable mirrors and heated mirrors. And then if you take a look on the inside of the mirror, you'll find your blind spot warning indicator. Now with that indicator, it'll actually light up just a minute. If there is another vehicle right beside you. Smart key system with it as well. And then you have your roof rack with your crossbars. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is red. Now if we take a closer look just at the front dash as well as the front seats, you do have your black interior power driver seat with lumbar support. Automatic high beams, auto stop and start, view for your 360 degree backup camera, power lift gate release, window wiper de-icer, heat steering wheel and parking sensors on and off with your seat memory controls, mirror controls, window locks, power locks and window controls. A couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control, seat function, mode select, voice recognition, Bluetooth connectivity, lane departure alerts, cruise control, and then if we take a closer look, you do have the push button start, so all you have to do is push button on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Taking a look at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on here. So as you can see, you have your fuel economy sway warning with the all-wheel drive, and then if you take a closer look, you have your compass, audio, lane departure alert, auto stop and start, messages, and settings menu that you can go through and customize personally for yourself. Taking a look at the center dash area, if you go inside the apps menu, you have your navigation, audio phone, as well as a couple of other additional features. Digital clock, and then as you can see, you have your XM satellite radio with the premium JBL sound system. Dual zone climate control settings, hazard lights. Down below, as you can see, you have a little shelf here where you can place some smaller items. And then you have your trash control on and off, snow mode, downhill assist control. And then you have the all wheel drive lock matted to an automatic transmission with your heated and cooled front seat controls for your driver and your passenger. Up top, you have the auto dimming rear view mirror. And then you'll find the open and closed for the panoramic roof, integrated garage door opener controls sunglass case holder and then taking a look at the backup camera as you can see you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you back into a stall and as you can see you can also change up the backup camera view to suit your own personal needs now when you put the vehicle into drive and then you hit the view button that's located over on your driver's side it'll show you a nice front end view of the vehicle which makes things a little bit easier for you especially with underground parking and the auto feature that I just pressed on will actually keep that screen on anything below 10 kilometers an hour. Anything above that will go back to the previous screen you were on. Now when you hit the view button, when you're just in park, it'll show you an aerial view of the 360 degree backup camera as well as a more up close view as well. And then if you want, you can actually pause the menu just in case you do see where the obstruction is. And then when you're all finished up, just hit the view button once more and it will go back to the previous screen you were on. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now look at just on the back of the tailgate, you'll find your backup camera on the left hand side and the rear hatch release located in the center. Push on the button once and it'll open up for you automatically. Closing in, as you can see, you do have your cargo cover in the back, which is nice because you can cover up your valuables just while you're going from place to place. Second row captain seats, but they're also heated as well. So not only does your front passenger get to enjoy heated seats, but so does your second row. As for the third row, it's a 60-40 split. So if you need more additional space, it is available for you. And then if you take a look up top, you do have the power adjustable tailgate for yourself. So if you hold down the button for approximately two seconds, the height you'd like it at, 
It'll beep a couple of times and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height. However, if you want to reset the height for yourself, hold down the button for more than four seconds, it'll beep several times. Then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the maximum height. A couple of uses for that power tailgate is if you're a little bit shorter or if your garage is a little bit lower, you can prevent the back of your tailgate from being damaged. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.